Well, welcome everybody. I'm glad that um, technologically everybody can tune in to our very first uh, virtual members meeting. Um, I like Colleen's tree down there. It's pretty. I can see everybody's trees. And um, I'm glad we could all get together. It's somehow, um, I'm excited that we did get a show up. And uh, even though things are um, seem to be going downhill with the virus and the numbers, and um, I'm really happy that we were still able to do that show. Um, and if you care to venture to the township building to see it, it is a beautiful show. You did get a uh, preview of it. I, I will always say, Deborah and Jim did a great job with the uh, slideshow. I still will always say um, it's still better in person. So if you want to get down to the there, you have until December 17th to go and see that show. Um, so I know, um, do we have any new members that are here? Um, I'm trying to see my gallery view left. There we go. I'm trying to think. It looks like Everybody I recognize. Oh, Elmer. Right Elmer. Here. Elmer is one. Ebeck, welcome. He, well, he's not new. Oh, no. Uh, the, who's, who screened in in October? That, maybe that's what I should. You mean, uh, mm -hmm. There. There's one. Oh, See? that's right. It's Lil under, Red. Little, little Red. Lil Red. Oh, Lil Red. Hello, Lil Red. <laughs> Hi, Diane. <laughs> Hi, I'm going to be off to the side eating dinner, but I wanted to hear <laughs> what's happening. I'll be back in a little while. And let's see, I'm, I'm just scrolling through the, the pictures to see uh, if there's anyone that's new other than the couple that I mentioned. A little red. No. A little red, I like that. Okay, so I want to start by um, telling you that even though this has been an unusual year, to, st to say the least, um, we're still planning for 2021, which I'll talk about um, under new business. So, and we also have Tom DeAndrea, who's gonna present tonight um, after our um, board meeting. So everybody hopefully stick around for that because we have a, an excellent photographer in Tom who's going to um, give us a, Probably a slideshow and a talk about, um, what's that? Yes. <laughs> Good. Yay. Um, for, for a new medium that maybe a lot of us don't dabble in or um, experiment with. Um, so looking forward to that. So, you know, we'll have a, maybe five minutes where you, everybody can go get a cup of coffee or a glass of wine and um, we'll be ready for his presentation afterwards. So I want to move to Marcy, who's got our treasurer's report. Hi everyone. Uh, so far, uh, this is the past six months, there's not been a lot of activity in our bank account as you probably realize. At this point we have $6,757.88 as our balance. There were deposits made basically in November of $415. We've sold two pieces of artwork from the show and that, and that doesn't include the uh, ornaments that Tom uh, had. So I'm not, he's, he's handling that himself and sending can 10% of whatever sell he makes. So um, that's where we are. Congratulations to Mary Jane Hadley and Paul J, who each sold a piece so far. So, you have any questions? Okay, that's it, I'm done. It's no surprise, Mary Jane, that somebody scooped that up. It was beautiful. No surprise there. Thank um, you. Okay, and we have, okay, Mary Jane, you have membership. Okay, well, our membership stands as of today is 100. And we have one that's screened in that we're still waiting for payment. So when we get that, it'll be at 101. We uh, sent a letter out to members that hadn't paid within the last two years. And well, we really didn't want to lose them as members. We didn't know if they uh, uh, 
were had other pursuits at the time or if they moved away. So we sent an email out to them and we heard back from a few. Some had moved away. Uh, some had totally forgot and uh, brought their membership up, membership up to date. So if you're listening and you still want to be a member and you got an email, um, you probably have till the end of the year to um, send your $25, which will give you membership for next year. So, and everybody else that was a member last year, we automatically made you members uh, for the following year uh, because uh, well, you didn't get your money's worth last year. So hopefully we'll have a much uh, more prosperous year this year. And uh, I think I'm just glad we're still at 100 hopefully plus one. Okay, any questions for Mary Jane? Okay, um, exhibitions, Vicki. And I'm gonna unmute, so I, I try, I, at least in our meetings, we always mute so that you don't get any kickback. So if you see me always moving, it's because I mute if I'm not talking. Okay. Hi everybody, Vicki Schilling here. Um, I want to thank everybody for participating in um, the show, all the participants. It's a lovely show. I'm so happy that um, it, it just shines and it's so good to see something up there and everybody at the building loves it. And um, we have a, um, a first, second, third, and an honorable mention prizes from the show. And I'd like to announce them right now, if I can. So- Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I gotta write okay. you, Vicki. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Ready? So we have first place, Alan Bryan with Land of the Free. Wow. Good for Alan. Uh-huh. Yeah. Second, second place. Um, Splendiferous, Mary Jane Hadley. Woo! Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. No, that's well deserved. Third place, Baskets of Hats by Doug Brown. Okay. And we have an honorable mention. It is Gotti Lesham Aspirations. So oh, congratulations okay. to everybody. And um, right. I guess you'll be getting a check. Yep, and I'll just send those out this week. Oh, uh, yes. Thank you. And um, like I said, thank you to everyone who came and hung the show and the tree is beautiful. Like uh, Noelle said, if you get a chance to get down there and see the show, it's beautiful in person, especially everything in the case. It's, it's just fabulous. I want to go down and go shopping myself. So yeah, that's all I have for now. Vicki? So, mm hmm can you, will you email me the names of the winners so I can I will. Them? Thank you. Okay. And then pickup is on the 17th. 17th Probably from three to, the top. three to five, because the building closes at five. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the hours, the hours. Can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. I thought. I thought it closed at six. I thought it was three to six because that's oh, what drop it? off was. Drop off was, was that the drop off? Oh, you are absolutely right. I just want to make sure I get it right in the notes. No, you're right. It was okay. three to six. Yes. Because normal okay. hours are four to seven. So we thought yeah. we'd, yeah. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you. I, I, I'm going to interject real quickly um, with the way things are. I, there are some, a lot of those people are working remotely. So I'm, I'm going to call and confirm those times, even though we're saying three to six today, mm -hmm. I, a lot of the employees yeah. are now remote. So it may, you know, the library may be shutting down earlier. Their hours may be changing. Okay. Uh, yeah, the so, library is not even open anymore. You okay. can pick up books out in the hall if you have, if, if you request something, but the library is not open. So the, I'm not sure that the hours may have changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I think too. And, and it's also only December 3rd. 
So depending on what the next two weeks would look like, um, I, I can't guarantee that. So we will definitely notify any um, holiday show participants of, the, of a time change. Okay. So uh, like I said, I, I hesitate to say six o'clock okay. today because um, it's lived by the seat of your pants every day, <laughs> at least where I'm working. So I, I hesitate to put that in stone today and then you're there at 5.30 and it's closed. So okay. um, we'll Noelle, definitely- Noelle. Go ahead. Um, is there a problem with just leaving the show up if the building is that um, closed down? I mean, people are gonna be nervous about going out to pick up their work to begin with. If it's the back gallery in the play case, that doesn't affect anyone else, correct? I'm just saying if we need to just leave it up and not even have that pickup on the 17th. Like they did with our last show. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like in March. That's what we did with the last show. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Worst case scenario. <laughs> that was the longest show in can history. So <laughs> um, I'm fine with that too, but like I said, I would rather check in with them and update if we had to leave it, sure. Um, you know, if, if they would close it down, they're going to close it down and we wouldn't have a choice anyway. So definitely, um, I'll keep checking in with them. I'm sure Vicki will too. We'll check in with them to see closer to the 17th so that obviously if, if they make a change or just say it's shut down, then we know either way, but um so we'll put tdb for or tbd uh for the pickup you know we'll plan for three to five or six but then that's we're gonna wait on that okay, okay. oh and i also want to piggyback on something that um vicky said as far as prize money um we because we had a, a of a bigger balance we actually awarded prizes this we never obviously have prizes during the holiday show, but we thought uh, it would be a nice little surprise to award um, prize money for the holiday show. So that's another first. In a weird year, we have <laughs> also, in a really weird year, we've also awarded prize money during the holiday show. So just wanted to throw you, that out there. Noelle, would you text me the amounts again? Because I keep forgetting. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. Yep. Okay. And would they like to know who the judges were? The judges, the judges are a group of friendly art officials, township officials. I think it's good to have other yeah. kinds of opinions. Yeah, yes. mm -hmm. and, uh, it is. We couldn't get well, anybody in to come in on this short notice. So this group of officials decided to help out. And um, I thought it was a lovely idea. And I think they did really well. Uh -huh. I, so. mm -hmm. I do too. And they were really the only ones that were there regularly. So it was really nice to um, include too. them. Yeah. yeah, to include them. So it was, a nice, I think it was, there were five of them. There was a group of five. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Committee. Yes, an arts friendly committee. Okay, um, any other questions for, uh, any other questions for Vicki? Um, Vicki, did mm. you want to also um, make any, uh, uh, about the back hall gallery, the individual shows? Um, you know what, when we do that, we're gonna pick up right where we left off, which is, uh, it would be uh, Monica. Monica Heisch. Heisch, okay. Heisch, her, yeah. And um, she, she is next on the list. And then we have some people who are not um, like uh, Krishna Rahad. She, she is next, but after that. But I don't know that she's a member anymore. So we'll go right down the list. And yeah, at um, this point, she is not. Right. I, and I spoke to her. I've even seen her, and she said she isn't. She doesn't have time for it right now. Oh, okay. So I would go. I have to reevaluate the list and just see who is next and next and next. Okay. Vicky, are you starting with January? Um, 
Well, I don't know. It, we, we, I can't. I have to get it cleared through the township when we can go ahead and start having a back hallway again. And um, and then, like I said, I would go right down the list and um, and see who was next, and 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 I would contact people and see if they still want to do it. So, and that's the um, same with the showcase. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah, the same with the showcase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And again, I can tell you that the, when I reached out to the township, they were, you know, my initial contact was, were they going to have the tree gallery? And if they were going to have their annual nonprofit tree gallery, would it, would it be a problem if we um, also had our show? And they were absolutely fine with that. The only thing that was not okay was having a, um, a reception. So I, I'm going to say way, all the food for the meeting tonight is at my house. Just toss it to us as we drive by. Yeah. It's really cute. It's a great spread. So, sorry. <laughs> so, on it, so I don't think it would be, I don't think there'll be much pushback. Uh, again, again, the only thing that would hamper that Vicki and anybody else that has a back hall gallery booking um, in the future would be is if they close. So I think if, as long as they're still open, um, I don't think January would be a problem. We will still confirm. I just think they're going to kibosh the idea of having a reception for your artwork. Well, so I could check with people and see if they really, if they want right. to, with the idea there's no reception. Right. Right. Oh, now, let, you know, yeah. the one thing that I had proposed and, and we just, um, I don't know that we were going to do it. If somebody wanted to have like a time ticket, like if you, a lot of places that have a timed ticket where you can go between, you know, 6.30 and 6.45 and that's your private showing of your, of your gallery, back hall gallery show. If you wanted to, if, you know, if you knew people that were coming and you wanted to arrange time slots for people to go, you could do that. You know, but I don't know that the township, uh, I guess, again, they're not going to approve any kind of reception, but you could, you know, have time ticket entries if you if you knew who was coming could you also maybe do um a live broadcast on your facebook group as yep. a, as like a reception almost so people could watch and comment oh absolutely you could have, you know, <laughs> yeah i don't know I mean, how if, to do that if you're if if the artist is going to be there and has that capability and wanted to set up a zoom room or a facebook you know group absolutely you know i mean i think people have been very creative about how they are showing their art and seeing the art and um displaying the art and promoting the art so more power to you you know like i said i didn't get any pushback from the township once i knew that they were putting the trees up uh, you know so i definitely think you know, be creative with your one-person show in the back hall gallery is great. So all for it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, if there's nothing else for exhibitions, I'm going to hand it over to Kathy for public relations. Well, basically, I did send a lot of notices out to all the uh, print media about the um, show, and I did. I had conversations with um, Liz up at the Butler Eagle. I'm not, I don't get the bu Butler Eagle. So I don't know if she put it, she told me she was going to put some things in about the show, but I don't know if she did or not. If somebody lives up in Butler and gets the Butler Eagle, did anybody see anything about it? Because I, I don't know. Um, and we did put it, I didn't realize that Jim, that it, it was on um it wasn't posted on the main page of facebook so i reposted it and got it onto the main page of uh facebook the, the um uh from the show the show from the show 
Yeah, it has a lot more hits now too. I imagined that. Yeah, earlier. I didn't realize that the people didn't. It wasn't on there. I thought it was. So yeah, I put it in community. It was on the community. Yeah, page. it was on community, and I thought it was on the main page. So I got it onto the main page. But other than that, I don't. I don't really have anything because we haven't been able to do anything. But if there, if you're going to have a one-person show, and you want me to send it out to. Uh, all the media contacts that I have, please make sure you include me in your information because I can't really do it if I don't know you're doing the show and I don't know anything about you. So those are the only things I have to say. I'll remind people of that when I sign them up. Yeah, that, that's, they, do, they need to send, share their information and with Debbie too so that she can oh, put definitely. it in the Okay. Okay. Thanks, Kathy. All right. Um, Colin, going to go to website. Um, okay. Uh, well, we still have a website. Uh, oh. There hasn't been too much going on with it this year uh, for, for reasons, but I'd like to remind everybody that we still have the uh, members directory. Um, so if you guys haven't yet, please go ahead and sign up for that on the, uh, on our website and you can get in touch with everybody, see what everybody's about, what kind of media they do. Um, and honestly, uh, other than that, check the, uh, repository of all of our, uh, great, uh, monthly newsletters that, uh, Debbie puts out. Okay. So, and now that's Thanks. about it. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, and the other thing, um, did everybody receive the um, Zoom letter and the agenda? Did everybody get that in the mail? Yes, I did. Okay. I wanted to make sure. Um, we went old school because it is amazing how many people have email but don't check it. So we went old school snail mail. Um, this way you had directions in front of you. Um, and an agenda. Um, so if, hopefully if you got it, that means your address is up to date um, so that we will make sure that everybody got it. So I'm glad to see that everybody got that and was able to sign on today. So really happy about that. Okay, Mary, programs. Hi, I'm Mary Mason and I have several people helping me with programs and um, we have several things that we have done every year like we've done the, um, you know, uh, plein air and Kathy Bishak and Mary Jane Hadley have really uh, started that whole program. And a lot of these things were just gonna, of course the weather now, but and COVID uh, slowed that way down. So we're hoping that we can do uh, plein air when the weather gets nice and maybe COVID's better in the spring, late summer or summer. And then we were doing figure drawing at the community center, but we also had to table that. So um, I was hoping and thinking, and I'm just going to throw this out here. When I had a piece at the Hoyt, uh, you know, regional show, they ended up not having, they had the show, we already took our art in, but nobody attended. So they did like we did, they put it virtual. But I was wondering if we could actually on our um, website, and I'm gonna throw this out to the Tobins and even Colin, uh, they asked me then to do a virtual studio tour. So could mm. we have members that, you know, might wanna do a studio tour and show how they make their art on our Facebook or on our online. So it would be an outreach so that we'll be doing something when we can't actually gather as a group, we could see how, let's say, Tom does his woodworking, if he was able to videotape it, or, or I'm talking about Tom um, Nad Nadlin or whatever. I'm not talking about Tom, the photographer, but he could even, tonight he's gonna do a virtual thing. But could we have that possibility to have someone videotape it and then um, actually like Carol, Carol could do her jewelry and go through her studio. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, that was one of the things I mentioned a little bit earlier, but uh, Cranberry Artist Network is on YouTube. Uh, we'll probably put some form of tonight's video on there, but there's a lot of videos. It hasn't been as active this year, obviously, but if people want to make a video, they can use their phone or a camera or whatever. If you get it to me, I can easily put it on the YouTube channel. 
It could be shared that way, and we could put it on Facebook. So they would just contact you, and they could do a, a virtual tour of their studio and show how they make their own art? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we, we could share that. And then, Colin, is there a way you can archive those on the website, too, like the newsletter? Yeah, we can definitely do that. It would it would probably be easier for it to have, um, if they're on the YouTube channel, just like links to the individual videos. Links, okay. Yeah, but yeah, that, that should be no okay. problem. Yeah, that's what mine was. It was a link on, from YouTube. And it wasn't that hard to do. It took a lot of time to gather the information. But it that's something, I mean, I would love to see how different, like the way you paint, or like if you do fiber art or, you know, anything, I'd love to see your studio and how you make your work. Yeah, that would, or, that would be or even a favorite or even a favorite process. Yeah, you know, people that like to do a certain little favorite process would be neat. And uh, yeah. the other thing too, which, which I would be happy to do for folks, um, you know, if you took a, a few clips of the process from your studio, I could put them together into one video. Like you don't have to make a professional edit or anything. I can I can do some editing and stuff. You know, if you get Okay, me well, if anyone is interested, they can contact me, Mary Mason, or they can t contact uh, one of the video people, the Tobins, if you're interested. I'd like to see how Jody makes her uh, gourd, creates her three-dimensional gourds. Mm -hmm. You know what, that's a great idea, and it's a great way to, um, also promote your work as well. Yeah, you can share it. They do, um, PAEA does an art room of the month and they go into teacher's art room and do the same thing so you see what you're, what's actually happening in your area. So I think that's great. Yeah, that's a great is idea. Anybody, is there anybody have any suggestions on length, time? Art. Um, we don't really have a limit. Um, okay. It really, you know, you, it's probably up to you. You probably wouldn't want to go super long. I think most stuff on YouTube is like five, ten minutes. You know? yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you would want to keep it under ten. Right. Yeah. Well, and keeping it short will also, if they're se if you're sending it to Jim, keeps the upload and download time yeah. slower. If you try to send him an hour long video, that's going to be. Yeah. yeah. What I did was I broke mine down into segments, but they told me to keep it under 10 minutes and then yeah. you can yeah. put it in a drop box and then they can pull it up. Yeah. And, and there's a, there's a, a website we use. It's called we transfer. So it, it handles big files and I can grab them, but yeah, I feel like, you know, you have to think of the attention span of it too. Mm -hmm. Is there an increased cost? No, no, it's, uh, it's free. Okay, well, that's okay. all I have. That's and a great idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. Okay, thanks, Mary. Um, as, as far as old business, um, I actually snickered a little when I put that on there again because it seems like it's been forever. So um, I'm going to move to um, new business for a second. Um, normally, in a normal year, um, we also have a handout for you tonight, which would be the schedule for 2021 and all of our shows. Um, we are still planning to get that to you by the end of this month. Um, we are still, um, the township has still asked us to present to them our year-long calendar to block off the time periods when we show. Um, as far as I can confirm as of today, um, we are still having martinis with Monet this year. So July of 2021, um, they're having that. That's at what I can say today. I have not heard different. Um, so we'll put that on the calendar to block off. Um, again, we're gonna try, we're gonna come up with a show schedule and block the time. We're gonna just, we're gonna pretend that we're doing what we would normally do. And then obviously, you know, the township and the conditions may change that. So be looking for the end of December, um, a 2021 calendar uh, of a show schedule. Um, so there'd be potentially a spring show uh, plus martinis. 
and hopefully we can squeeze another one in there. Again, time frame, we're going to block the time, not going to guarantee. Uh, we still might be able to hang shows and have virtual openings yet again. Um, I, I just, I want to make sure that we still are booking the time with the township so that they always know that we're here, we're still planning to do it, and then the changes that come will come. So, so we can have uh, so we can have art unmasked. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> maybe not till July. I mean, we were having a parking right. lot opening pretty soon. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> um, in July, that might be fantastic. We just take over the entire back lot and outdoor music and who knows I, um but i can but i can say that in the communication that i've had with bruce uh, mazzoni and like i said it's been a while um they're looking forward to the 2021 martinis with monet so i don't know like i said we'll uh, uh, we'll forge ahead and if things change they change but at least um for planning purposes you, you've got a you've got a calendar for 2021 so um that's all that i had um for that information um I, I i still i still like planning even though things get changed um i feel like if we don't plan and things change then we are caught you know hand in the cookie jar and the time slots may not be available so i'm sure people are itching to get back to so-called normal and again if if we don't plan for 2021 and you know other places come in and book like Farkleberry and the cultural fair if we don't plan and slot ourselves in and everybody else does then i, I feel like we'd be left out for all of 2021 so that was my rationale for getting a schedule together anyway knowing that there probably will be some manipulations. Yeah. No, I think, I think it's better really to plan smart. and cancel than to, you know, just have no idea what's coming. Right. And, and again, I, I know things aren't normal. Trust me, I'm teaching 700 kids remotely now and I'm still in the, it, it's bizarre to say the least. Um, but, I still have expectations for them and trying to make it normal and this is what I expect. So I'm going to do what we always do and, and um, our board is going to meet in December and, and plot those dates so that I will um, maybe even snail mail it again to everybody um, that you have a calendar for 2021. This way the township knows that we will still do it if they let us. So that's, that was my, um, that's why it says pending on the agenda. Any questions? Anybody have any questions? No, but I love the idea of doing it outside. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do. I think that would be fabulous if the weather was nice or a big tent. Um, but then you can't leave it. Yeah. But it sounds nice. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I have yet to talk to Bruce um, and, and the CTC committee about what they're thinking or the ideas that they have. Maybe they don't have any yet. You know, I, I know that I'm still planning on booking the caterer in January um, so that that date doesn't, so he doesn't get pulled away from graduations and everything else. So I'm still gonna follow my checklist of things for martinis and go from there. At least I can say I have it booked, you know. I, and I you, don't, you don't get penalized if you cancel a caterer? You know, like... Not with, not with them, no. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, not with them. Because I had them already booked for 2020 and... Oh, that's... So, okay. And that didn't yeah, he happen. Does, yeah, he doesn't require me to... Um, I didn't have to put any deposits down because we have a standing order with him anyway. So... Um, but again, I just don't want to be caught with nobody available if and when things get better and then we're <laughs> scrambling. So, um, cause that's a big, that is a big, um, that's the biggest fundraiser that the township has. So that is their major fundraising event for the year. So I'm sure they're hurting. They, they took a, a pummeling in 2020, but that is their biggest fundraising event for the community projects that they do in Cranberry. 
So they were disappointed to cancel. Um, they didn't have they didn't have enough time to even get all of their sponsorships in place with the way things were rapidly going downhill. So I'm sure the CTCC, Cranberry Township Community Chest, took a beating um, in 2020. So um, any other questions?